वेलकम टू सुब्रमणी आई हेव मेड मेनी वीडियोज लाइक दिस इन द पास्ट सेंग हाउ टू कंट्रोल युअर मार्केट रिलेटेड एंगजाइटी राइट सो पीपल हू हेव बीन इन द मार्केट सिंस नाइनटीन सॉरी मे बी टू थाउजेंड टू डोंट रियली नो ऑफ वॉट इट इज टू बी इन द मार्केट ऑफ अ सस्टेन्ड फॉल द मिनिट आई से दिस पीपल विल से वो अंकल यू आर स्लीपिंग मार्केट फेल इन टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी येस मार्केट फेल इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी इट फेल इवन इन टू थाउजेंड सेवन टू थाउ टू थाउजेंड एट एंड इट स्टेड देयर बट नॉट फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम इट डू नॉट स्टे देर फॉर सेवन ईयर्स इट स्टेड देर फॉर सेवन मंथ्स और इन केस ऑफ कोविड इट स्टेड देर फॉर थ्री मंथ्स राइट सो इट इज नॉट अ वेरी लॉन्ग रिलेवेंट इम्पैक्टफुल फॉल राइट इट वॉज अ फॉल बट इट वॉज अ वेरी क्विक रिकवरी सो इट इज योर पेशेंस uh it is not tested your patience is tested if over 8 years you get a negative return or a very close to zero return in your um, uh in your uh, sip and you are from a family which invests only in ppf and uh, state bank of india fixed deposits so that family would have said oh my god if you had just put it in ppf or nse your money would have doubled here you have lost money and so blah 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 right so if you have in a family where people anyway invest in equities you could have uh, stood that but if you are a first generation guy the chances are you will be ripped apart saying look i told you this is not meant for us our community is not good for us we are in we are service people this is for business people right you would have But all that nonsense. If you went through, um, let's say, 1994 to 2001, 2002, uh, people changed careers. People left mutual funds and joined uh, insurance and other businesses, thinking, "Oh my God, this market is going nowhere." Like people had to make those kind of decisions. You never had to make that kind of decisions if you have entered the market post 2002. Yes, uh, you may have made bad decisions. You may have had to sell in a bad market, and on that day the market was bad, or the share that you bought was bad. You may have traded, made losses. Those things are there, but it, we, you have not seen a sustained bear market. I am still convinced that we won't see a sustained bear market because the governments of US, governments of India, or any other country, we don't have the guts to go through. So the minute there is a fall in the market, people will come and pump up the market back so that. Uh, they can kick the can down the road but that's not what i'm talking about i'm not talking about government action and inaction i'm saying what you should be doing so first of all when the market is too noisy turn off the noise right that's the first thing you have to do whether the market is on the way up or on the way down uh, turn off the noise stop watching nonsensical uh, stuff on television whether it is political nonsense or whether it is uh, uh, whether it is uh, information about uh, equity markets for example you can always every day read about some uh, some lynching some uh, uh, huge number of indians migrating uh indo canada problem indo pakistan problem and all that it may be irrelevant for your equity portfolio it may be irrelevant for your life but then it takes away your time and it uh, wastes a lot of time and it increases your blood pressure right makes no sense to do that so just stay away from that kind of a noise so remove the noise uh, second uh, go and check your conviction about equities if you are not convinced about equities you should not be in equities or you should be in equity is to a very small extent if you are not convinced so much about equities put 20% of your money in equities and see what is happening if the returns are good you will build conviction so build conviction over a period of time if you are 90% in equities without conviction you are sure to fail and you will react in panic maybe the blip was temporary maybe it was for a week maybe it was for a month uh, but in that period you would have done the worst things and one of the worst things that you can do is sell in a bad market and you will do it not because you need the money or anything but because you got scared so check out your conviction also go and check uh, how relevant is your portfolio at all if your goals are 10 years away right your uh, daughter is 7 years of age you need money when she is 18 uh, that goal is 11 years away now you are also young you are maybe uh, 34 uh and you are retirement is uh, another 30 years away so you don't need that you don't you're not planning to buy a new house importantly buying a new house you can always postpone if the market is not good you cannot postpone paying your daughter's engineering fees if she's in class 12 now it uh, engineering fees is going to happen next year you cannot ask her to study later right so go and check your conviction go and check your goals how relevant are your goals if your goals are 3 years away and the market is in a bad shape it may not be too 
bad but if your goals are 3 months away you are bad asset allocation because you should have started in, uh, removing money from the market uh, not one day before you need the money but maybe one year before you need the money or maybe 24 months before you need the money right so zoom out of the market see what is happening check out how good your job is right so if your job is good paying you well your wife is doing well your uh, parents are doing well everybody around you is doing well maybe your wife is a practicing doctor uh, you are working in the share market and uh, then uh, you should be more worried about your portfolio but your wife's portfolio will do well let us say you're working in sales of a two wheeler company or a four wheeler company or maybe a hotel and your portfolio is doing well you don't have to worry too much about the portfolio falling because your goals are far away so check how relevant the market is to your life at this situation maybe it is bad for you in the longer uh, if you were to uh, take the if you were 74 years of age and you needed money and you didn't have and you everything was in equity it's a bad asset allocation so go and check your asset allocation and check whether your asset allocation lets you sleep well at night any asset allocation which keeps you awake at 3 am not knowing what to do sitting and watching videos on uh, what will the market do will it uh, recover will it uh, continue to remain there <coughs> sorry right if you are worried about all those things then uh, don't uh, do it there are some more positive things also which you can do these were the uh, slightly i would call little negative things the positive things is go and check your uh, portfolio there could be some losses go and do a tax loss harvesting right tax loss harvesting go and ask your chartered accountant how this is to be done so you can do some tax loss harvesting you can sell off some shares which are making losses and the same share you may be able to buy it in some other portfolio right so this is not something illegal you bought a share for 100 rupees you are convinced it's a good buy and today the share price is 7 20 rupees you checked your stop loss you don't want to do a stop loss you think it's more relevant it is worth buying at 70 rupees sell the shares from your portfolio and buy it at 70 rupees in your wife's portfolio nothing has really changed you have done a mark to market but by doing a mark to market you have booked your 30 rupee loss this is your tax loss harvesting but please don't do this without uh, checking out with your uh, chartered accountant or whoever is filing your tax return uh, look for some shares which you have bought in the past which are now looking even more attractive active to add look for bargains create a portfolio and sit on it uh, don't buy uh, wait uh, have if you have cash or whatever uh, or if you have some bank fd which you were willing to break make your own imaginary portfolio uh, in many of these uh, blog web- websites which are available and say which are the shares which you want to buy on a dip so you should have that list. for example uh, today the price of uh, siemens is 8000 rupees and you think it's a good buy at 6400 then make it in your portfolio say put current price say target price and keep on uh, reviewing it keep on uh, making it and suddenly if you find that siemens is available at 6700 or 6800 go and take a buy it you don't wait for it to reach 6400 only and then buy that is going to be very difficult so if it's 6700 6 6800 go and nibble at it maybe you want to buy uh, 100 shares uh, totally but go and buy 10 go and buy 12 go and buy 22 uh, on further and further fall and maybe you'll end up uh, uh, buying at uh, 6200 uh, at the be- at the best price that you get but you may have bought it from 6800 to 6200 and on an average getting a reasonably good price so this is just one example uh, i hold siemens therefore the example is siemens because i knew the price is about 8000 rupees so and do those kind of thing check check for bargains look for bargains go and read what others did when the markets were bad uh some shares uh, i i am convinced that all ofs are uh, terribly overpriced and you get all of them at uh, almost half the price i mean i had this conversation with somebody in icici bank who was trying to convince me that i should buy the icici securities ofs i did not touch the ofs in fact after the ofs i bought it at less than half the ofs price now it is getting delisted it's a different matter altogether but uh, that really happened and you can look at many of these shares i mean i bought paytm i bought uh, zomato i bought uh, all these shares at way below the uh, ofs price right ofs you knew was uh, the price was overstated so in a bad market when these prices fall imagine 1800 rupees was the price at which i had seen paytm and i thought it is good at 1200 i ended up getting an opportunity to buy it at 350 rupees i mean these kind of bargains you get only in the bear market right so look for bargains and don't miss the second chance of all these shares which are 
suddenly falling and uh, you are getting a chance to buy it. Every share has fallen like this. So go and look at a company, look at how well it is doing and say, okay, uh, if Amazon comes to this price, I'll buy it. If Microsoft comes to this price, I will buy it. And uh, if Apple comes to this price, I'll buy it. Set yourself audacious goals, but be uh, make sure that you're tracking it, right? Uh, one famous fund manager, he may not like <laughs> being quoted, so I'm not naming him. He would say there are no bull markets and bear markets. It's only sector rotation, which is so true because uh, 2003 to 2007 uh, was a infrastructure boom. It was not just the market boom. It was an infrastructure boom. Then the market crashed and then it is not the infrastructure which uh, led the rally on the way back, right? So market could go from say 6,000, 2000, 3000 to 21,000, fall down to 9000, uh, I think 9000 was very, very near the bottom and then go back to 21,000 being led by completely different companies. Unless you are uh, an index investor, uh, to you it would have been irrelevant, uh, the market fall if you were in shares like uh, Pharma and FMCG etc. Because it did not go up so much, it could not fall. But if you were into say a uh, BHEL, Larson and Dubro, uh, banks etc etc infrastructure and banks you would have seen your portfolio go up seven times right and then it fell look at something like bhl it went to 300 uh, and then it was available at 25 rupees in 2020 right so these kind of things happen so look uh, look for bargain look for some shares of yours which are terribly overpriced whatever is your love for it uh, whatever is your love for it don't just keep buying at some ridiculous price too high too low right be careful but uh, be open for uh, bargains also talk to the relevant people talk to people who are doing something in the market I mean if you are a trader talk to a trader if you are an investor talk to an investor I am more the investor kind so when I talk to traders I know I should not give too much importance to their views but it's a good uh, thing to talk to traders because they give you the best entry points and sometimes the best exit points so you need to talk to everybody see how to use that and then based on all that you control your emotions thank you